Yo guys, it's Krakatoa. Uh, I'm just making a quick vlog for the video today. Not because my computer's broken or anything like that. No, it's, it's working totally fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, we, we just got some Burger King. And I'm gonna eat that real quick. And then we're gonna go get me some piercings. But I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna get. But I just, I, um, We'll see. Oh, someone's fast. But yeah, stay tuned and we'll find out. Yo, what is up guys? We did it. We did it. Ta-da. Don't look at my teeth, they're gross. Got my first piercings. Now I just need a haircut. Hey, your head was in it. Yeah, well, it went smooth. Didn't really hurt that bad, but yeah, I got my first my first two piercings ever. Um, I'm gonna. I plan on in the future getting like some gauges, but I just didn't feel like doing it today. And the only things they had there were like the the hoopy ones for the gauges. Like they start you off at an eight gauge, which is pretty big. Um, you can go smaller if you want, but I don't want I just want to get them, because I don't want earrings, I want gauges. So eventually, maybe I'll, I'll talk to them more about it, but <clears throat> yeah, I got, got a snake bite. It's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. But, but, uh, but yeah. They feel pretty cool. Feels cool when you do stuff. I was surprised though how bad badly it didn't hurt. I thought it was gonna hurt like more. It feels weird. If you've never gotten a piercing before, you should definitely get one because it's it's a weird sensation. But yeah, uh, we're eating Panera right now. Just got a little little side salad for dinner, and then. I think we're going home so that's been the whole day did a little shopping at Meyer. uh got a couple things got some mouthwash for these that's pretty much it a couple other stuff uh, yeah so hopefully uh i'll go home tonight and fix my stupid computer that isn't working and then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming yo guys i'm back uh it's been like two days since i recorded the first part of this and i don't know i was gonna record some stuff that night and i was gonna record some stuff But uh, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna record a lot of stuff, and I just didn't. I've just been really uh, trying to figure out my computer, and just trying to fix it, trying different solutions. Um, but yeah, last night I probably should have recorded it, but I uh, I don't know. I tried. I tried taking my my because I have two drives in there and one of the one of the hard drives is for the operating system as well as some of my like applications that I run because it's an SSD so it goes faster and the other drive is like a two terabyte hard drive like an, a traditional you know magnetic hard drive and I was gonna take the SSD like completely out just unplug it and everything and whatever what have you but i did that and i was going to install windows onto that d drive and it uh it didn't it's it was still restarting so i assume that that means that it is most definitely not a software issue meaning that more than likely it is a power supply issue i checked the ram when the computer still was able to run uh, and the diagnosis came back completely fine. There, there's nothing wrong with the RAM. 
I even tried uh, using one stick because I have two sticks. I tried using one stick and then I swapped them to try to use the other stick because I thought, you know, maybe one's faulty and it's just not showing up because a lot of people say that if your computer randomly restarts continuously, it's, it's a lot of times it's either the power supply, a weird software bug, or the RAM. It's okay, Bubba. We're going to see Mama. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's the RAM. And I just, I think, I really think it's the power supply because I only got, I cheaped out, I only got a 500 watt power supply. And I think just the continuous use of my computer and like adding new applications and then them trying to run in the background and everything and and just everything that the, the computer was trying to do, just it was too much power for it to handle and then it just wouldn't stop restarting. So because it if it tries to draw more power than it can, it'll just restart, so. Oh, you can see Atlas in the picture a little. Here, we'll do this. Hi. Say hi to the vlog below. I don't know if I got him. I might cut that out, whatever. So yeah, that's just been me. Uh, I'm upset that I broke my every other day upload schedule. So hopefully I'll be back on track, I don't know. I got a couple videos, ideas, but. We'll see, we'll see, we'll, we'll see what the future holds. Uh, I'm going to hang out with some friends tonight. I'm just kind of trying to relieve some stress, honestly. It's, it's just been a lot of stress for me, you know, having a $1,000 computer that I put together myself and then having it just out of the blue malfunction and, and that's a lot of time and effort and money, a lot of money to just not work and not know the reason why. If I like knew for a fact that it was the power supply, I wouldn't, I would be okay. I, I did order a new one as well. I ordered a new, a 750 watt power supply. Um, so that will work a lot better. So we'll see when it comes, how well it works. If it, uh, if it works at all, I might ask around and see if anybody I know has ooh, excuse me, a spare power supply just chilling out somewhere that I can snag and borrow and just see if it if it runs on more than 500 watts um i'm hoping that's the case um but yeah i i really i can't think of anything else that it could be um testing that that software thing out really kind of cleared a lot of things up eliminated a lot of possibilities bubba it's okay it's okay, Daddy's right here. Cause yeah, if it's if you have a software issue, I'm sorry. Especially if you can't sign in to like run diagnostics on your computer. Hey, it's okay, Bubba. It's okay. Is it too hot back there? But yeah, uh, I don't know. Cause there there is a, a di I found this out like a couple of days ago, like three days ago, that there's like an actual diagnostic program that is part of Windows that just runs. And like you can run it and it'll check all your all your files and everything and see if anything's corrupted or out of place or anything like that. So, but I don't need to do that, I guess, because it all seems fine. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's just a little update on uh, what's been going on, why I didn't post the day that I was supposed to post. Atlas just really wants to be in the video, so there you go. You got some baby coo cars and cries. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Yo guys, I'm just chilling. Chilling in my car recording this rest of this vlog because it's loud in my house. I'm just gonna start it, turn the AC on a little bit yet. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna 
talk about today a little bit. Uh, so yeah, these guys, my lip was really swollen. So this one was digging into my, this one right here. You can kind of see it's a little, little red and disgusting. Uh, the, the, the bead or jewel or whatever you want to call it on the end. Why do my fingers do that? That's so weird. Uh, it was digging into my lip though. Really, really bad. Uh, like the whole thing was gone into my lip. Like you see how it's sticking out. Uh, I can push it out. Oh. But the bead, the bead was like beyond flush with my lip. Like it was in there. Why do I? I need to get a haircut. Jeez Louise, what is this crap? Mm. Gross. Um. But yeah, I went in today where I got these done and she put in longer bars, longer, uh, whatever you call them, yeah, bars for free. So that was really nice of them to do that. And so now my lip has some room to swell and stuff, which is a normal thing, but she told me to drink water and stuff and all that crap, just kind of stay hydrated and maybe take ibuprofen or some, uh, Oh, what is that called turmeric or whatever um so yeah i got some of that took it been trying to drink more water because i'm pretty bad at that and uh yeah then i got home and my computer i thought maybe was the ram because i've seen a lot of people post that if you have an infinite uh reboot loop um it can oftentimes be the ram uh, I've tested the, to see if it was hard, or not hardware, if it were a software malfunction, because I unplugged my secondary drive that has all my games on it, and I completely wiped the drive that has my, has Windows on it, and it's still not working. It's, it's even worse now to where it won't even, like, start to boot into Windows, it'll show because because I made it when you first start the computer up it'll show a splash screen for the motherboard manufacturer it pops up with that splash screen and the little loading dots and it stays like that for maybe half a second one second and then it's done it's restarted already and it just doesn't ever stop doing that so yeah, it's uh, it's been really stressful. Uh, that's the number one reason why I haven't been posting because that's where I edit all my videos unless, I don't know, unless I do a vlog, I guess, but like, because I'm gonna edit this on my phone because I don't have anything else to edit it on other than my old crappy laptop. That thing's literally falling apart. Um, so yeah, I if I keep posting videos, it's gonna be edited on my phone and recorded on my phone and all that stuff. There's not gonna be any gameplay. I mean, I guess maybe I could record on my PlayStation, but what am I gonna edit it on? I don't know, nothing, because I can't. So, it's basically, this is it. Um, yeah, it's not a power supply. I bought a new power supply. Plug that sucker in, that's not it. So, I'm thinking it's the, the processor, but I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm talking to a friend, kind of, at the moment. Uh, he doesn't have one, but he said he might know somebody that might, so they're just waiting to hear back from him. Uh, my processor is under warranty, but I don't want to send it in and everything until I know that that's actually what's wrong with it because then I'm gonna have to wait probably two, maybe three weeks till I get uh, a new one back. And if that's, if I waited all that time for that and it's not it, I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be devastated. So, I mean, honestly, the only things that could be left are the CPU, the motherboard or the graphics card. I tested RAM tested all that stuff so those are the three components that it's down to hopefully we have our solution soon i'm thinking it's a cpu though because it's 
it doesn't blue screen often, but the, like when it did blue screen, it was always something just completely random and made no sense at all, or just like, it was never the same one. So I'm thinking that the processor is, is just running into weird issues. I don't know why. Cause like I said, I've only had this for like two months, but I don't know. I guess it's possible. So yeah, I guess that's, that's the, the update till next time. Hopefully next time I check in, it's because I found a solution. Fingers crossed. <sighs> yeah. If you know, if you, if you have a, a processor, a Ryzen processor with the AM4 chipset, hit me up down in the comments. Or if you know somebody that does, uh, I just, ideally I'd like to borrow one until I get the one that I have back from my, where I bought it. So like borrow it put it in if it does work after i put that one in ship that one off get the new one back then give it back or whatever does that make sense um, yeah thank you guys for watching sorry for the uh the hiccup in my upload schedule life happens i guess uh it really sucks though because like i said a million times i've not even had this thing for like three months maybe it's been three months but definitely not four not even close to half a year it's like i don't know i don't know we'll see you guys in the next one peace out